Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I export my Civil 3D surface and put it into live design so I can do my drainage modeling, over land flow design, and anything else I need to do. The way I do it is simply just exporting triangles, and the reason I do that is because A, I can keep track of everything I've exported. Therefore, I break this dynamic link, if you may, because the one thing that I kind of hate in Civil 3D is like I didn't find a nice clean way to rev up surfaces. The way I do it is at least because I import in live design is I keep track of all the triangles I exported. But we'll talk about it later. So I've got my Civil 3D surface here and I already prepared my data shortcut so you can see it's data shortcut at an existing ground and please use folders. Folders keep everything nice and clean. If you don't know how to do data shortcuts, I'll leave a link below or a hover card should appear somewhere on the top. Now I'll create a new drawing and then I'll go to, I'll delete all this because that's my template based drawing. And then I'm gonna go data shortcuts, expand on my surfaces, find the existing ground, right click, create reference. Now the style, I want it to be triangulation. And the reason being is I wanna use triangles to create the surface and this is the most accurate way to create surfaces. And if you ask topographical surveys, always ask for 3D triangles. So this is my surface here. Now you can see here at the moment, it's a thin surface. So I'm gonna explode it once becomes a block reference and then I'm going to explode it again so I can have individual 3D faces. Now I do not need the 3D polyline all around because the triangles do it automatically. Then I'm going to save this drawing and I'm going to save it into the live design folder imports and I'm just going to say that it's from Civil 3D, it's the existing ground, let's say version 1 and then the date I did it. Then I'm just gonna copy all the triangles. I'm gonna go to live design. In this case, I'm using the AutoCAD live design. Right click, paste original coordinates. And then you can see I've got this here. So now I'm gonna create a new surface. I'm gonna add, and then I'm gonna call it existing and change the style to existing. The next thing I'll do is right click on the existing surface I've created and then go to create surface from drawing. And I'm just going to select all my triangles. And then what I can do is delete all these triangles. Simple as that. So therefore, now it's created a surface. And if I change the edit style and go to see the vertex and break lines, you can see, I can see them all here. These are all the points I created. I think I could view the triangles as well, actually. I should have clicked on triangles as well. There you go. These are the triangles. So now if I save this drawing and let's say, let's find our tutorial. I'm just, I'm gonna call, let's keep it drawing one. I'm gonna close it and open it again to show you that the information actually doesn't get lost. It's still there, it's all good. And to take it a step further, I'm just gonna go back to my existing style. I'm gonna create a road very quickly, which that's why I love live design. It creates roads so quickly. And that's it. Obviously, I don't have the batters to connect to, so let's change that. Path and batter, path and batter. There you go. It has the batter. You can see the tadpoles right there. But yeah, I've got my 3D surface, and the contours pretty much seem very similar to what I've created. So I'm just going to pick that area. So does this weird zigzag. So does this weird zigzag. So I'm all good. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you think a colleague can benefit from it, share it with them. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.